Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a poignant moment in sports history, the Wichita State plane crash tragedy. Before we get into it, if you find these historical deep dives interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Let's rewind to the late 60s and early 70s. Wichita State University, located in Kansas, wasn't known as a football powerhouse, but their program was full of heart and determination. They were the underdogs, the shocker team that could surprise you on a good day. In 1970, the Wichita State Shockers were looking to make a name for themselves. They had a new head coach, Ben Wilson, and a roster full of talent and ambition. The season was young and hopes were high. The team was set to face off against Utah State on October 2, 1970, a game that promised to be a stepping stone in their journey to football recognition. But fate had a different plan. The team split into two planes for the trip to Logan, Utah. The gold plane carried the starting players and coaches, while the black plane had the backup squad and other university staff. Tragically, the gold plane never made it to its destination. Flying over the Rocky Mountains, the gold plane crashed near Silver Plume, Colorado. It was a catastrophic event that claimed 31 lives, including 14 players, their head coach, and support staff. The black plane landed safely, but the passengers were met with the devastating news. The impact of the crash on the Wichita State football program was immediate and profound. The remaining season was played in the shadow of grief, with heavy hearts and jerseys bearing black armbands in memory of those lost. The team struggled to push forward, but the community rallied around them, providing support and love in the face of such an unspeakable tragedy. The crash not only affected the immediate football season, but also the trajectory of the program. Recruiting became more challenging, and the shadow of the tragedy loomed over the team for years. It took time, resilience, and the indomitable spirit of new generations of Shockers to rebuild the program from the ashes. In the years that followed, Wichita State football had moments of success, but the program never fully recovered from the impact of that day. By 1986, the university decided to discontinue the football program, citing financial difficulties and waning support. Comment down below if you'd like to see Wichita State football make a comeback. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.